and welcome to Isip Nayan, your math guide to senior high school. So for today's video, we are going to discuss exponential equations and inequalities. Again, do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel Isip Nayan. The objective for today's video is to be able to solve exponential equations and inequalities. Let's start with the definition of an exponential equation. So when we say exponential equation, these are equations in which variables are found in the exponent. So examples are 3 raised to x equals 9, 3 raised to x plus 1 equals 27 raised to x minus 2, and 2 raised to 3x equals 8 raised to x plus 1. Now, when you talk about exponential inequality, these are inequalities in which variables are found in the exponent. So we have 3 raised to x greater than or equal to 9, 4 raised to x plus 1 less than or equal to 16 raised to x minus 2, and 5 raised to 2x less than 125 raised to x minus 1. Let us first try to solve exponential equations. Now, in solving exponential equations, you have to remember the property of equality of exponential equations. Now, this property states that the base of two exponential expressions on both sides of the equation are equal if and only if their exponents are equal. Let's have this example. Say we have 64 raised to x equals to 32 raised to x. Now to solve for this, we have to first change the two sides of the equation in such a way that they will have the same base. Okay, so we know that 64 is the same as 2 raised to 6. And 32 is the same as 2 raised to 5. Therefore, I can change 64 to 2 raised to 6 and 32 to 2 raised to 5. Okay, giving me the equation 2 raised to 6x equals 2 raised to 5x. Now, according to the property of equality of exponential equations, once the base are equal, then you can also equate the exponent. So, we have 6x equals 5x. Transpose 5x to the other side of the equation, giving us 6x minus 5x equals 0. 6x minus 5x is x, thus x is equal to 0. Now, let us have this example. Say we have 27 uh, raised to 3x minus 1 equals 81 raised to x plus 2. So again, we have to change the form of the two sides of the equation in such a way that they will have the same base. So we know that 27 is the same as 3 raised to 3 and 81 is the same as 3 raised to so, I can replace 27 with 3 cubed and 81 with 3 raised to 4, giving me the equation 3 raised to 3 times x minus 1 and 3 raised to 4 times x plus 2. So, again, since we have the same base, we can now equate the exponents of the equation. So, we have 3 times 3x minus 1 equals 4 times x plus 2. So, I distribute 3 to 3x minus 1 and 4 to x plus 2, giving me 9x minus 3 and 4x plus 8. So, we isolate um, x to one side of the equation by transposing 4 to the left and negative 3 to the right side of the equation, giving me 9x equals a uh, minus 4x equals x8 plus 3. 3. 9x minus 4x is 5x and 8 plus 3 is 11. So to solve for x, we simply now have to divide 5x equals 11 by 5, giving us x equals 11 over 5. In our next example, we have the equation 625 raised to negative 2x minus 1 equals 1 over 125. So again, we change the form of our um, 
expression in such a way that they will have the same base. So, 625 is 5 raised to 4. Okay? And we know that um, 125 is 5 raised to 3. But since it is in the denominator, okay, the exponent must be negative. Okay? So, we replace 625 with 5 raised to 4 and 1 over 125 with 5 raised to negative 3. Okay? So, we have the equation 5 raised to 4 times negative 2x minus 1 equals 5 raised to negative 3. So, since they have the same base, we now equate the exponents. 4 times negative 2x minus 1 equals negative 3. Using distributive property, we now have negative 8x minus 4 equals negative 3. I now transpose negative 4 to the right side of the equation to isolate x. This becomes negative 8x equals negative 3 plus 4. Negative 3 plus 4 is 1. Divide both sides by negative 8, giving us x as negative 1 over 8. At this point, we will now try to solve exponential inequalities. Now, to solve for exponential inequalities, we have to remember the following rules. Okay, first one, if the same real number is added to or subtracted from both sides of the inequality, then the sense of the inequality does not change. So, if it is greater than, it will remain greater than, or if it is less than, it will remain less than. Next, if both sides of the inequality is multiplied or divided by the same positive real number, then again, the sense of the inequality does not change. The third rule in solving inequalities is if both sides of the inequality is multiplied or divided by the same negative real number, then the sense of the inequality is changed. So, if it is greater than, it would become less than or vice versa. Now, let's have this example. So, let's try to solve for the solution of the inequality 36 raised to x plus 1 greater than 216. Again, um, same with solving exponential equations. We have to change the expressions on both sides of the inequality in such a way that they will have the same base. So, we know that 36 is the same as 6 raised to 2 and 216 is the same as 6 raised to 3. Therefore, I can replace 36 with 6 squared and 216 with 6 raised to 3, giving me the inequality 6 raised to 2 times x plus 1 greater than 6 raised to 3. So, since we have the same base, I cannot drop the base and just use the exponents. So, we have 2 times x plus 1 greater than 3. Um, distribute 2 to the binomial so we'll have 2x plus 2 greater than 3 now I'm going to subtract 2 to both sides so to isolate x on one side of the inequality giving me 2x greater than 3 minus 2 3 minus 2 is 1 and then I divide both sides of the inequality by 2 to isolate x, giving me the solution x greater than 1 half. Now, let us have this example. So we have 49 raised to negative x plus 2 greater than or equal to 1 over 343 raised to 2x. So, again, we change the expressions in such a way that they will have the same base. Okay, so we know that 49 is the same as 7 squared and 343 is the same as 7 cubed. Okay, so we now we can now replace 49 with 7 squared and 343 with 7 raised to 3. But since again 343 is um, the denominator then we have to negate the exponent okay 
So, we have 7 raised to 2 times negative x plus 2 greater than or equal to 7 raised to negative 3 times 2x. So, since our inequality now has the same base, we can now drop the base and just use the exponents. We now have 2 times negative x plus 2 greater than or equal to negative 3 times 2x. Okay? So, we uh, distribute 2 to this binomial. So, we now have 2 times negative x is negative 2 and 2 times 2 is 4. Same thing, we multiply negative 3 times 2x giving us negative 6x. Okay? So, we now isolate um, x to one side of the equation by subtracting 4 and adding 6x to both sides of the equation, giving us the inequality negative 2x plus 6x greater than or equal to negative 4. Negative 2x plus 6x is 4x uh, greater than or equal to negative 4. Now, we divide both sides of the equation by uh, inequality by 4 which gives us the solution to the inequality which is x greater than or equal to negative 1. We have the inequality 32 raised to negative 2x plus 3 less than or equal to 128 raised to x minus 1. Okay, so again we have to change both sides of the inequality in such a way that they will have the same base. So we know that 32 is the same as um, 2 raised to 5 and 128 is the same as 2 raised to 7. So, we will replace 32 with 2 raised to 5 and 128 with 2 raised to 7, giving us the inequality 2 raised to 5 times negative 2x plus 3 plus than or equal to 2 raised to 7 times x minus 1. So, again, since we now have the same base, we can now drop the base and just use the exponent. We have 5 times negative 2x plus 3 and 7 times x minus 1. So, we distribute 5 to 2x plus 3 and 7 to x minus 1. Okay? So, giving us the inequality 10 e negative 10x plus 15 less than or equal to 7x minus 7. So, I'm going to transpose positive 15 to the right and 7x to the left. Okay, so we'll have negative 10x minus 7x less than or equal to negative 7 minus 15. Negative 10x minus 7x is negative 17x and negative 7 mi minus 15 is 20, negative 22. Okay, so the, to isolate x on one side of the inequality, we have to divide both sides of the inequality by negative 17. In doing so, since we are dividing both sides of the inequality by a negative number, then the sense of the inequality must change. So, from less than or equal to, it will become greater than or equal to, which gives us the solution x greater than or equal to 20. 2 over 17. Okay? So, that is it for solving exponential equations and inequality. I'll see you all next video. Bye, everyone!